Morning, we're back to the shed where uh, I'm going to do a wee bit of work on the road rocket. In fact, I'm altering the gear in because uh, it's particularly under geared at the moment. This being a 46 tooth sprocket on the back and there's a 19 tooth gearbox sprocket where it should have a 42 on the back and a 19. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to take off the exhaust chain case after dismantle the clutch and then I'm fitting a 21 tooth engine sprocket which you can see down here on the floor if I get out the, the light okay I shall film some more as I go along and, <coughs> excuse me, I now have the exhaust off the primary chain case and uh, I'm in the process of dismantling the clutch as you can see I've got two of the springs out next thing the clutch comes off, clutch sprocket and I think, I'm not too certain sure about this, the engine sprocket but I'll carry on and uh, I'll keep going with this video as much as I can it's now stripped down and the new sprocket's on and uh, just about to tighten it up and I hope all goes well I have to lengthen the chain a wee bit first, but uh, that's no problem at all. So I'll get on with that and I'll carry on filming. Well, as you can see the clutch is back together and uh, I'm just having a bit of a job trying to get the bloody primary chain to join up. I'm just going to think of a trick to see if I can do anything with it. It's very awkward on these actually. I don't fancy moving the gearbox, which I probably have to in the finish. So, well now the sprocket's done and the chain case is back on all I need to do now is to put the exhaust back on adjust the rear chain and the fluids so that's a good morning's work it was a little bit problematical but not too bad I'm off to go to see the alder grass now so I'll continue this when I get back Monday morning now I'm back in the shed I'm just about to have a go at adjusting up the chain and I'll complete the job of putting on the exhaust it shouldn't take too long with any bit of luck and uh, you never know, <laughs> things happen ok well there she is, all back completed now chains on, I've just got to top up the chain case oil but there's conflicting stories about that in the uh, man manual two different quantities and I'm not quite sure which but um, I'll check that out today and then hopefully tomorrow my son's coming round and uh, we might be able to do a little bit of filming with the old lad on the road okay oh yeah the uh, chain proved a bit of a problem I had to take out half a link and uh, put one and a half in but uh, that wasn't too bad, solved that anyway